Something's nibbling on it. Yep. There he is. As the fall season progresses and it starts to get colder, the brim are gonna be harder to find. So I have this bait taken home and I'm gonna start filling it up with these warm days still here. I'm gonna go down to this dock as many times a week as I can uh, and try to catch some brim so that I don't have to worry about bait this winter. I've got a good stock of brim in there right now. They've been living for a while. And I think I, uh, I really got the system finely tuned. So it's time to stock up. I only have about a half an hour to fish. There should be plenty of time. If I find them up under the dock, I should catch plenty right off the bat. And then I can go back home and uh, get ready for work in the morning. Looks like they've started to expand the parking here at Cypress Gardens boat ramp. That's awesome. It's really cool. Can't wait till they're done with it. All right, looks like I got the boat ramp to myself for now, which is very rare. Looks like the tide is going out. My bucket filled with water. I have this little aerator here. I'll turn that on once we get a few bait fish in there. Put me a little piece of worm on there. And to kind of break off that other side. I always make sure that you can't see the tip of the hook. Uh, they seem to bite better when they can't see the tip of the hook. It's just a small, smallest little long shank brim hook that I could get with a little split shot. This is 10 pound Lunker Braid by PC Fun. And I just have a little two inch peg float. I don't have a slip bobber system. I just put it right through here and put the peg in there. I'm fishing so shallow that I don't really need to go deeper. This is a ugly stick Shakespeare ugly stick GX2 ultra light uh, I love this little rod I got the PC fun alloy X 2000 spinning reel on it this little thing is sweet I like it a lot better than the big one <laughs> basically I'm gonna try right here in this little corner there's a little current seam right here and I'm gonna try to drop down and hopefully I can get a quick bite all right, if they don't bite right off the bat, it could be a couple reasons. Either they're not here or I need to go deeper. Looks like it is high tide. Let's drop it back down there again. Oh, got a little bite. There he is. That was quick. Nice one. Now, since I'm keeping these for the bait well, I really want to take good care of them. Make sure I'm really gentle with them because any little bruise uh, or bump or whatever will decrease the likelihood of him surviving. So I'm going to lower him in there. He's going to go crazy for a minute. You just got to make sure that these little jokers don't uh, swim around in circles and pop out of the bucket. Actually, it would be smarter if I put the bucket in the middle of the dock. But as you can see, I got that little bubbler on. It's going to keep that water oxygenated. And, uh, you know, he didn't even get my worm. So that was pretty quick. Hopefully the action will stay that quick and we can uh, make a quick bait run. All right, we're going to drop down right in the same spot. Kind of let it float out a little bit. I'll let it go about five or six feet out. Usually if they're not right here by the dock taking cover by these weeds or under these sticks or by this dock, they're not they're not out there. Oh, missed him. Missed him. It's alright. Worm looks good. Let's drop it right back down. 
There he is. Whew. Must be a little one. I don't want him to swallow the hook. There he is. Oh, that's a nicer one right there. That's a nice size brim. That would be an eater size. But, uh, you know, big catfish like these too. So we're going to put him <laughs> in the bait tank. And again, we just want to put him in here gently. Put him in here gently. Kind of hold our hand out. Because they'll try to they'll try to jump out. That's two. I'm gonna make my goal ten for today. Think we can get ten? Put it in the comments if you think I can get ten. Don't cheat and wait till the end of the video. Oh, there he is. Number three. I forgot to mention what bait I'm using, but I think you saw. It's just red worms. Pretty little fish right there. All right, still the same worm, guys. Still the same worm. I love this little alloy X. That's a smooth little reel. Looks good, too. Sexy. Drop it right down the same spot. Boom. Ooh. He slammed it down. There we go. There's another one. Very simple. You can do this at your dock. Wherever people put boats in. Look at him going crazy. But as you can see, I just got the boat landing here. And, you know, you can catch him up in, in the... Uh, you can catch him up by the ramp. Up under the dock. Um, but I'm over here, we're lucky enough to have these, you know, these shallow reeds, I guess you can call them. And then this dock right here in this little eddy. So the current's going out and it kind of comes back in and it swirls right here. And these fish are seeming to congregate right here by these weeds. So we'll throw it back down there again. Bite, 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 peck, peck, peck. And I haven't smelt a two-stroke engine in so long. I forget what they smell like. All kinds of memories with that motor. And that boat could have drove them away too. It's possible. The last time I was down here, I was catching a bunch of brim right in a row. And then the, the uh, evening boaters, the evening bass boaters came in and they kind of stopped biting. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Caught me sleeping. See if he'll hit it again. He might have got my worm. There he is. Got him. All right. Nice little brim. Again, take the hook out as gently as I can. We're just going to... All right. My other GoPro died, so I had to go back to the truck. That boat that was up here definitely scared the fish away we got some sensitive brim out here i actually caught one right when the camera went dead so they have come back now that that boat is out of the water so that's good do have some people coming to the ramp now hopefully i can get my 10 before too many of them get here Still operating off the second half or the second little piece of worm. It's a shame the GoPro went dead too. Because the last little one I caught was a, a little bit bigger one. That's alright, you've seen Big Brim before. Alright, it seemed to have shut off a little bit. Let's see if we can entice them a little bit. Alright, I'm going to move around this dock a little bit. I have to go a little deeper. All right, I'm a little deeper now. Let's see if we can go in this corner here. Got some other friends that join us down here doing the same thing. So again, this bobber is not a slip bobber. I have the peg in there. And uh, I just let a little line out. And you know, the, the deeper you make it on a peg float, obviously the harder it's gonna be to cast. 
But I'm not trying to go too deep. I don't even like fishing this deep, to be honest with you. But we're trying to find our tin. Come up closer to the dock here. I'm not feeling the love anymore, Brim. Where is the love? All right. Shallow back up a little bit. Drop it back down in the honey hole. If we don't get any this time, we'll move around the, the dock a little bit. All right, we gave it a shot. Move around the dock a little bit. So I'm gonna shallow up a good bit. Probably about three foot. I'm gonna cast up here, close to where the boat's put in. And uh, these will be a lot smaller brim. The, the bigger ones won't hang out up here. But great catfish bait. Oop, right away. As soon as I put it in there. As soon as I dropped it in there. But he was small, so he didn't hook up. Let's try that again. I don't even know if you can see that far. So the technique I'm going to use on these small ones, even though I have a really small hook, is I'm just going to start reeling and gently pull. Now what I'll have to do is just keep pressure on them until they get to me. Otherwise, you know, since I'm not really setting the hook on them, the, they'll come off of that hook. And everybody will be disappointed. All right, I think it's floated out a little. I think I scared him. He said, what was that? And I see the tip of that hook is showing again. Gotta check that. Mm. Too far. Basically, that's what we'll continue to do is just cast around here and see if we can't put it on one's head. I've got six, so I need four more for my self-imposed limit this evening. All right. Let's cast up under this dock here. Well, that was a bad cast. We'll let it ride. And again, usually if you don't get a hit right off the bat, there's usually nothing there. These fish are always on the search for food and Usually they're not by themselves, so if a piece of food falls down, you know, the quickest one to get it wins, obviously. So they'll all mad rush it. We got a series of bad casts going on here. Let's see if I can improve that. There we go. There we go. There we go. And drop it right down here off the edge of the dock. This is cool because you don't have to uh, put a boat in to go catch bait, go catch live brim. You know, just go down to your dock or stream or anything. You can just drive up to and get you a box of red worms and a nice light action pole to make it fun. That's the secret. You don't have to have a boat. You don't have to go 10 miles up river. Right, we're gonna walk over here to the other side of the boat ramp see if we can't have any luck I need four more guys four more this looks promising over here very shallow shallow that up a little bit try it again also don't want to keep these fish out of the bait tank that long uh, uh. Alive. We want the bait fish to stay alive, stay alive. Super shallow over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to entice something with a big piece of worm. First fish that hits is gonna take the bottom half of the worm off and I'm not gonna catch him, but that's fine. As long as we're getting a bite, I can go back then and try and catch them. I'm gonna move down here. This looks promising down here too. Mm. 
Hmm. He was taking it, but exactly what I told you would happen. He got the bottom half of the worm. <laughs> it left me with what's on the hook. So hopefully when we cast back in, we'll catch that fish or one of his cousins. Oh man, right off the bat. Okay, there's a few down there. Just gotta get my mind right. Get my mind right, I was trigger happy. When he took it under, I jerked it too quick. He didn't have the hook in his mouth. We're probably talking teeny tiny, but we need four. We need four. There he goes. Nope. So little. So little. Oh, hooked him for a second. Hooked him for a second. I don't know if they make a hook small enough for this fish. <laughs> Probably 10 or 15 of them down there. Nope. Oh, did they get my worm? They stopped hitting it. Nope, oh, there he is. Got him. I got one of them anyway. <laughs> oh, dropped him. See that, that reel in technique, that slow reel, you know, it doesn't really hook them that deep. Oh, I just had a fish jump out. Did y'all see that? <laughs> oh, they're jumping out like gangbusters. <laughs> they didn't see me right there and they jumped out the bucket, y'all. That was funny. Hope y'all saw that. All right, three more three more still got our piece of worm here probably pushing it using that little piece of worm this worm does kind of looks uh, suspicious I don't know if I'd want to eat it either <laughs> all right don't know how it got on the line like that that's all you need right there is just that little tiny piece of worm little teeny beeny piece of worm it's dangerous i tell you it's dangerous couldn't have been just that one fish down there now right come on here he is <laughs> oh man missed him missed him still got my worm I'll tell you what i love pulling him catfish especially love pulling them big catfish but you can't deny how fun this is oh here we go here we go i'll tell this guy and bring his son over here after i'm done oh <laughs> gentle gentle there we go two more dose fish all right same piece of worm This is fun. Anna loves this kind of fishing, but she was taking a nap. It's Sunday. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm not hooking these things. Yeah, I do. They're probably as big as my thumb. <laughs> a little piece of, bigger piece of worm on here. Again, making sure that hook tip is covered. It's kind of like a double-edged sword there, you know. If you let them eat, you, know, you might be saying you're setting the hook too early, Kevin. Well, if you let them eat, they'll swallow that hook. They're no good to you, unless you're using cut bait. All right, got that one. Hopefully he didn't swallow the hook. There's number nine. Yeah, good hook set. Hey guys, there's a bunch of brim right over here. I got one more to catch and they can have this spot. 
little kid when he walked up. He said, I've never seen a fish before. Um, well, get him over here and let him catch one. Of course, I hope they have small hooks. <laughs> I really do. If not, I'll cut this one off. They can have it. Guys, right when the last one hit, the GoPro died, as you saw. I got my 10. The other good news is that uh, that kid and his dad came over and I showed them where I was catching them and they're catching them now. So that makes me even happier. I can leave knowing that I helped somebody catch some fish. And... All right, so we got our tin and uh, I'm gonna use this net to dip these fish out of here so I don't have to touch them as much. We're gonna put them in the trusty old bait tank. I haven't done a video on this yet, so let me know if you want me to. I think I've got it about right. So I'm gonna turn off the bubbles here. If you wanna check the bubbles out, that aerator is blasting. And I'll turn those bubbles off. Basically, I'm just gonna dip them out. In all kinds of various sizes. I'm probably gonna be shocked right off the bat. As long as they swim, that's all I care about. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, got six left. All right, two more. We got one nice one in there. There they go. Now that they're down in there, I'll just turn on my bubbles. I'll try to go again this week and get some more. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Happy fishing.